welcome back friends welcome to another lecture from just biology in this lecture we're going to talk about immunology before entering the subject we should know the cells which is involved in the immune system and how the body will resist towards the pathogens which is enter inside we have many types of cell which is involved in the systems like you know if you take uh, you know each and every part of the body will be flooded with the different kinds of immune cells and each and every cell have a different or distinct function with respect to each other how this immune response will be achieved by all these kind of cells and uh, how the cell will be differentiated into the different names like you know b cells or t cells or whatever it may be as i mentioned earlier we have different sort of cells which is involved in the immune system and each and every cell will have a different function as well and let's how this cell will be generated or how this cell will be differentiated into the different names that we will discuss now the first the mother cell which give you know which uh, which differentiated into the many types of cells and that such kind of cells we can call it as multipotent cells or multipotent nature here we have the cells hematopoietic stem cells so what is what does it mean hematopoietic stem cells the stem cells will have a capability of producing all kinds of blood cells that's why the name comes in the hematopoietic the hemato means something which is related to the blood and the cell you know the cells the stem cells will synthesize or they will proliferate into different kinds of cells that cell will you know will be called it as a different names based on their function and, and some other properties as well now this hematopoietic stem cells will have a capability for differentiate or they are making different sort of cells and these cells what are the cells the hematopoietic stem cells will generate that we'll see now the first cell which is proliferated or which is you know which is synthesized by hematopoietic stem cells is lymphoid cells actually this they are the precursor molecule or the progenitor cells these cells what it is that these cells will also differentiate based on the uh, need the lymphoid progenitor cell is the first cell which is arises from the hematopoietic stem cells now you know out of which the lymphoid progenitor will be the first one which is resistant towards the pathogen so they are the most abundant class of the cells and we can see what are all the cells which is arises you know arises from the lymphoid progenitor the first cell which is arised from the lymphoid progenitor cells is the b cell actually they are you know that will transformed into the b cell progenitor cell only so they are the b cell progenitor the b cell progenitor will be induced by a pathogen or some kind of antigen they are exposed to the antigen so that b cell will becomes active so they are comes in action and the cell will be referred as a plasma b cell and what is the function of this plasma b cells they are the only the cell they are the only the one which synthesize the antibody towards the specific antigen so that's why this plasma b cells is important among all these cells so that doesn't mean they are not important they are also important but among them they are the first one so i i meant like that then the second progenitor which is raised from the lymphoid progenitor is nk or you know actually the nk or t cell progenitor so nk and the t cell progenitor are the two types of cell actually so that you know that is further classified into the two cells so that is one is called as nk cell and t cell or t0 actually the t0 referred as a naive or inactive t cells listen now nk cells so what does it mean nk cells nk cells is a cell which acts against the cancer or some viral infected cells 
that's why the cell will refer as natural killer cells whenever the pathogen which is enter inside the body the body will give some sort of chemical response to the immune system that chemical response will be identified by the nk cells and the nk cells will comes in action and the nk cell will secrete some kind of chemical substance is called chemokines so that chemokines will degrade the cell which is affected by either cancer or the virus now let's come to the t cell the t cell has a important role in the activation of plasma b cells how the t cell will have a, a link between phagocytes and the plasma b cells and how this linkage will takes place that will discuss in future lecture so i have to talk about activation of b cells and the antigen presenting on the t a t helper cells so that will also will discuss in future lecture now just remember one thing the t cell will activate the t cell will active only when they are getting response from the antigen presenting cells so remember the word antigen presenting cells at the end of the class i'll tell you what is antigen presenting and how and what are the cells which is involved in the presentation of the antigen and then this nine t0 cells or you know this t0 cells will expose to the antigen then and when the t0 cell or naive cell become active so they will going to react with the b cells that's why the t cell and the b cell linkage will takes place now the second progenitor or the second class of cell which is raised from the hematopoietic stem cells is myeloid cells or myeloid progenitor a myeloid progenitor has a separate role you know like you know parasite infection or if you have some allergic response also caused by myeloid cells or the myeloid class of cells we will see what are the myeloid cells normally seen in the body the myeloid progenitor will give a two types of cells one is granulocytes and the unknown so this unknown means they are not at steady yet or you know the information about this unknown cells is quite less that's why i wrote unknown cells so this is granulocyte progenitor or this is unknown progenitor from those from these two progenitor we will get a class of a variety of class of different mol different cells now what are the cells which is proliferated or which is uh, transformed from the granulocytes and they are making so granulocytes will uh, generate three kinds of cells the first cell which is raised from granulocytes is eosinophil so actually the granulocytes means the cells which have a specific granule and what is the function you just imagine what is the function of uh, this kind of granule inside the cells and if you remember the concept of a lysosome inside the cells then you can correlate with each other then actually this lysosome is a vacuum kind of body which has a plenty of enzymes and factors which kills the microbes and normally specific to what's the pathogen so whenever pathogen will enter inside the cell this lysosome will secrete some sort of hydrolytic enzymes these enzyme will degrade or the enzyme will kill the pathogen so same way the eosinophil have a certain granules that granule will have a, a lots of factors in uh, enzymes and that enzymes will degrade or just kill the pathogen now the basophils the basophils also a granule type uh, immune cells that will also have a specific uh, function to watch the parasite that's why parasite now the neutrophil neutrophil is a one among them has a properties of phagocytic activity and let's you know actually the what is phagocytic activity the phagocytic activity means this pathogen or the foreign particle will be engulfed or will be taken up by the cells itself then it will start to degrading 
and the sum of the portion of this antigen or the foreign particle will be showcased to the T cells. The T cells will get activated. Once the T cell will get activated, the T cell will induce the B cell to produce the antibody. This is the idea. So each and every cell will be interlinked inside the immune system. So that's why we are not getting any kind of disease you know, pretty much easier. That's why this uh, all this kind of relation. Now the second progenitor which is raised from the myeloid is unknown progenitor. As I said, this unknown progenitor will convert or will synthesize only one kind of cells that is monocyte. They are not granule containing cells because they lack granule. We can call it as they are the agranulocytes because they lack the granules. And this agranulocyte or that is monocyte that can be transformed into various kinds of cells based on their location. Now if the cell which which is present if they are in tissue. Let's, so normally these cells are in a you know lymph. The lymph will be you know the lymph will bring all kind of cells on the actually the blood flow. So better say better to say a blood flow. The blood flow will be you know the blood will pass us through the every parts of the body and some you know the tissue as well. The, the monocyte will be passed through the bloodstream and they will rest at different kinds of tissue. If they are in the tissue, we can call it as macrophage and also dendritic cells. And the mast cell is not a phagocytic cells or uh, this is a, a particular kind of monocyte. And this regarding the mast cell we will discuss later. So this is the unknown progenitor. The unknown progenitor, you know, unknown progenitor will differentiate into three different types of cells, including monocytes. Monocytes will uh, differentiate into the three types of cells, dendritic cells, macrophage, then the mast cell. So this is the uh, unknown progenitor cells. Now, this is the last one. It's the last kind of progenitor cells that is called erythroid progenitor. The word itself we can understand erythro means something is related to the blood. The same way, like I said, the erythroid progenitor will differentiate into the two types of progenitor. So the one is called as megakaryocyte and erythroblast. So they are the two, two types of differentiation from the erythroid progenitor. From this megakaryocyte, so this megakaryocyte will differentiate into the platelets. So they are becomes platelets. But if, on the other hand, the erythroblast, of course, they are RBC. So erythro means related to blood, and the blast means the cell. The, they are the red blood cells. The erythroblast will differentiate into the blood cells. But this is the the classification of the you know the generation of the different kinds of immune cells inside the human.